Hello everyone, Noxious here. Welcome back to my series, Machine Spotlights. In this installment, I'll be covering everything you need to know about two brand new machines introduced in Horizon Forbidden West Burning Shores, the Bile Gut and Sting Spawn. While the Bile Gut and Sting Spawn have separate catalog entries, we'll be covering both together since you can't have one without the other. Both the Bile Gut and Sting Spawn are members of the Acquisition class of machines and work in tandem to recover old world scrap deposits littered around the Burning Shores. Their designs work perfectly for this purpose and are actually quite fascinating. The Bile Gut borrows its design from a frog or toad, most specifically resembling the Suriname toad, which is known to carry its eggs on and inside its back. Meanwhile, the Sting Spawn's design resembles that of a small flying insect like a fly or bee. The Bile Gut will travel to a designated site ripe for salvaging and will disperse pods of sting spawn eggs. While those eggs are hatching, the bile gut will proceed to spray either acid or fire across the ground which unearths hidden scrap metal. Once hatched, the sting spawn will proceed to fly around and collect the unearthed scrap metal pieces which they will then take to the bile gut. The bile gut then uses its retractable harpoon-like tongue to snatch the sting spawn right out of the air which it then swallows. This action both recycles the sting spawn back into its egg launchers as well as processes the scrap metal into usable resources for the cauldron network. This special symbiotic relationship between the bile gut and sting spawn is unique among all machines yet known. While their primary purpose is the acquisition of materials for the Cauldron Network, the Bile Gut and Sting Spawn also exceed at fending off human threats. In fact, the Bile Gut matches the Fire Claw in difficulty level in both its regular and apex forms, being level 42 and 60 respectively. The Bile Gut is arguably the most agile of any heavyweight machine, able to clear the entire battlefield in a single leap. They tend to stay mobile during fights as well, seldom staying in a single spot. To make a fight with the Bile Gut more manageable, try using a well-equipped rope caster. Or try detonating one of the two shock canisters at the Bile Gut's rear with shock ammo, inflicting the shock state. Both methods will severely hamper the Bile Gut's mobility. It's also worth mentioning that the Bile Gut is weak versus fire and frost damage and strong versus purge water and acid damage, while the Apex Bile Gut is weak versus purge water and plasma damage and strong versus fire, frost, and acid damage. Bile Guts have several devastating melee and ranged attacks at their disposal, all of which are supplemented by acid, fire, and adhesive. The Bile Guts melee attacks consist of a leaping crop dust attack, a tongue lash attack, a jumping slam attack, a lunging bite attack, a sweeping kick attack, a donkey kick attack, a bouncing slam attack, and a tongue whip attack. The Bile Guts ranged attacks consist of an adhesive egg launching attack, a spit attack, and an acid spray attack. Keep in mind that once the Bile Gut is down to half health, it will start spewing acid out as an AOE attack, similar to the Frost Claw and Fire Claw. The Apex Bile Gut shares all of the same attacks, instead utilizing fire instead of acid. Given that the Bile Gut relies on its elemental sacks during battle, a great way to reduce its potency is to detonate them with impact damage. Be aware, however, that this will prevent you from being able to collect sack webbing from the carcass, which is used as upgrade material for certain weapons and outfits. Leaving the sacks intact will also add resources like blaze, metal bite, stick paste, and volatile sludge to the carcass. Another option then with the Apex Bile Gut especially is rather than detonating the sacks to utilize purge water ammo as the drench state will prevent all elemental attacks. To limit the Bile Gut's ranged attacks further, destroy or detach its egg launchers with tear damage. This will also prevent the Bile Gut from summoning more sting spawn to the battle. To further add to the available loot, make sure to detach both the resource canisters at the front and rear of the Bile Gut as well as the fortified container at the rear of the bile gut. Tear Blast arrows work exceptionally well for this. While the Sting Spawn are quite manageable on their own, they can be a major annoyance in groups. Their primary attacks include a quick sweeping melee attack as well as an electrical shock ranged attack. Luckily, Sting Spawn can be quickly dispatched as they have the lowest amount of health of any machine in the game. Skilled Hunters will utilize the Sting Spawn's sole weak spot, its energy cell, to quickly dispatch large groups. If hit with shock ammo, these energy cells will proceed to explode in an electrical discharge that chains to any sting spawn caught in the blast. 
Should you choose to test your combat skill against Bialga and Stingspawn, you can find them at any one of their three dedicated machine sites in the Burning Shores. While Stingspawn cannot be overridden, you can indeed override the Bilegut once you have completed Cauldron Theta as it is the Cauldron's sole override available. I will now demonstrate overriding a Bilegut in the wild. We are of course going to set it to aggressive. Let's see how it does against a few Claw Striders. As expected, the Bilegut makes short work of the Claw Striders. Unfortunately, as it stands, we can't see how a Bilegut would fare against any other machines. But what machine would you like to see a Bilegut face? I'd love to see how it would do against a Fire Claw myself. That's everything you need to know about the Bilegut and Stingspawn. What do you think of these additions to the machine roster? What were your initial impressions? Let me know in the comments below. I personally had mixed feelings about the Bilegut at first and thought it was a cruel joke from Gorilla. I mean it's basically mixing a Leap Lasher, Clamberjaw, and Fire Claw all into one. However, in making this video I have gained a newfound appreciation for this extremely unique machine. Make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more machine spotlights for the Waterwing and Horus Titan coming soon. And join in for one of our live streams every Saturday. Once again, I'm Noxious Asp. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.